Are websites taking forever to load on your iPhone Safari? You tap a link, and instead of opening instantly, it just sits there spinning. That can be really frustrating, especially when you're in a hurry. But don't worry. Today I'll walk you through three quick and effective solutions you can try right now to speed up Safari in iOS 26. Now, slow browsing can happen for a lot of reasons. Maybe your Wi-Fi signal is weak, your iPhone's background apps are hogging the internet, or your Safari cache is stuffed with old files. It could even be something as simple as low data mode limiting your connection. The good news is, most of the time you can fix this without calling your internet provider or doing anything complicated. So let's jump straight into the first fix. The first thing you should try is restarting your internet connection. This sounds basic, but it works more often than you'd think. If you're using Wi-Fi, open settings, tap Wi-Fi, and toggle the switch off. Wait at least five to 10 seconds before turning it back on again. This quick refresh clears temporary glitches in your connection. If you're browsing on mobile data, you can do the same. Go to settings, tap cellular, and toggle cellular data off, then back on after a few seconds. This forces your phone to reconnect to the nearest cell tower and often improves loading speeds right away. You can also try the airplane mode trick. To do this, open settings, tap airplane mode, turn it on for about 10 seconds, then turn it off again. This completely resets your wireless connections, which is like giving your iPhone's network a fresh start. Many users also find this instantly improves Safari speeds. But if the pages are still dragging, let's move to solution number two. Another effective fix is clearing Safari's cache and browsing data. Over time, Safari saves tons of temporary files, cookies, cached images, old website data. At first, these files help pages load faster, but when they pile up or get corrupted, they actually do the opposite and slow everything down. Here's how you can clear them in iOS 26. Open settings, scroll down and tap apps. Scroll down and tap Safari. Scroll until you see clear history and website data and tap it. Set the clear history timeframe, then confirm by tapping clear history when prompted. That alone deletes a lot of old junk. But for a deeper cleanup, scroll further down, tap advanced, then select website data. Give it a few seconds to load and then tap remove all website data. Review the warning prompt, then tap. Remove now to confirm. This wipes every leftover file that could be clogging Safari. When you go back to browsing, sites will load the latest versions instead of pulling outdated info. And just so you know, clearing cache doesn't delete your saved passwords if you're using iCloud Keychain, so you don't have to worry about losing your logins. Now, if you've tried that and Safari is still crawling, it's time for solution number three. This one's a little more advanced, but very effective. Resetting your iPhone's network settings. Sometimes misconfigured Wi-Fi setups, old VPN data, or corrupted network files can mess with browsing speed. Resetting wipes those out and restores everything to factory defaults. To do this, open settings, tap general, then scroll down to transfer or reset iPhone. Tap reset, and from the list, choose reset network settings. Enter your passcode, tap reset network settings to confirm and your iPhone will reboot. After the reset, you'll need to re-enter your Wi-Fi passwords, so make sure you have them handy. Once you're reconnected, open Safari again. You'll often notice a big improvement in how quickly pages load. So just to recap, restart your internet connection, clear out Safari's cache and website data, and if needed, reset your network settings. One of these three usually gets Safari back to running fast. Taking a few minutes to fix it now can save you from even bigger headaches later. And that's all there is to this quick guide. If this video helped you speed up Safari on your iPhone, please give it a like or check out my other tutorials to master more iOS 26 tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.